Hey there guys, Josh from Deal Machine here, and today I'm here to walk you through the process of setting up your Deal Finder onboarding and training workflow within Deal Machine. It's a brand new feature update we've just recently released, and there's a few things you're gonna wanna go through to make sure you have it set up correctly, so that Deal Finders just go to your webpage, sign up, get trained by us with the videos that we've already made for you, and then are active members of your team right away. So sit back, watch the video, and let us know if you have any questions after this. Hey guys, all right, let's go ahead and dive in and get started and go over uh, this deal finder sign up page and process. First and foremost uh, to note is that ideally you're doing this on your, uh, your computer or a, an iPad browser or something like that. Uh, it's going to be a little bit easier to, to make the changes that you need to there. Uh, we haven't fully launched everything on mobile yet. Um, so first things first, to go find out where to actually set this page up, you're going to click this three horizontal dot ellipsis icon. You're going to click on team. There you're gonna see the full list of all your team members already. Uh, and then you're gonna see a collect deal finders button. And that's what you're gonna to wanna to click uh, to see the actual setup process, to see where you're gonna make the changes and set everything live. And so first things first that I want you to do here is first scroll all the way to the bottom and you're gonna see contact info. Here you're gonna write the specific information that you want your deal finders to see as they go through the signup process. And so whether that's your personal name, your company name, the phone number if you want them to call you, and the email address that you want them to reach out to, or they're gonna get a welcome email from you, so the email address that they actually get that welcome email from. And so fill that out first for what you want actually for your organization. Then you're gonna scroll up, choose your custom link, and so as you can tell, mine is just Josh. Um, the web page is always gonna be dealmachine.com forward slash team forward slash whatever you wanna make your custom link. And so I typically recommend if you're an individual, your name is a lot of times a good option, really your company name or potentially your market. Um, something that just is really easily identifiable to you so that when they sign up, um, uh, they know it's you. Uh, and also too, just something that's gonna make it easy for you to tell people so that when they're typing it in, if they have to type it in instead of clicking a link or if you're sharing it uh, with them via text, uh, it's just easier for you to type in if it's something quick. Once you do those two things, you're gonna go ahead and toggle on the set page live button. As you can tell, mine was already on, um, but yours is gonna be off initially if you haven't set this up yet. And so now, immediately after that, you should see all of these options pre-populate with our default text and our default videos through this process. And so what you'll see again is the simple, the heading, get paid to take pictures of houses, the subheading. We try to make it really easy so that if you guys didn't wanna to touch anything, you could just do the, th the things I just showed you, hit live, and boom, the landing page is live. It's copy that's relevant to anyone that's gonna be driving for you, and the video is generic enough to where it can basically just tell people, hey, you're here most likely because you're joining a local real estate investors team. And so definitely would watch that video. Um, I'm gonna tell you in a, in a little bit uh, the, the videos that I really recommend you guys doing yourselves, even if it's just a a 60 second selfie video, something that's more custom to your, your own personal branding. Um, again, you are building relationships with these deal finders, so getting your branding, your face in front of them is gonna be a really valuable part of the process. And so this is one of the videos I'm gonna recommend that you go ahead and record something for yourself, ideally over time. But again, don't worry, out of the box, we've got a video already pre-built for you, so it's ready to go. Um, Again, the rest of this page, you'll, you'll see in a, in a moment, I'll take you to the actual uh, deal finder signup page, um, but all of these things that you're filling in here will actually fill out, uh, fill out and complete that web page uh, once you hit it live. So after you work on the landing page, the coolest part of what we've just launched is not just a landing page. We already had a landing page. It was static. It wasn't customizable before. But now we give you that customizability and we give you a ton of training videos so that when your deal finders sign up for your team, we're showing them what to do, uh, which is really, really exciting for us. Uh, by far the biggest question that we get whenever we're kicking off with a new enterprise customer of ours is, hey, like, what do I tell my deal finders? How do I make sure they're adding the right properties? How do I make sure they're trained on the app? And so we took it on ourselves to build this process so we're offloading as much of the training part as possible off of uh, your plate. So we're doing the training, you're focusing on the relationship with them, but we're doing the, the hard training on just what they need to be doing. Um, so when you first land on this page, you're gonna see this require training as, as off. Go ahead and toggle it on and you'll see all the different videos that we've pre-built 
for you to use and give to your deal finders as they go through the process. I'm gonna walk through them briefly just to give you a quick summary of what they each are. Would definitely recommend you guys watching those videos yourselves um, so that you have a really good feel and grasp for what it is your deal finders are actually seeing. Um, so first things first, the welcome video. As soon as I hit submit, they're gonna to come to a new page and it's gonna, and it's gonna be this video that they see and this text right beneath it. Um, so this is just basically saying, hey, thank you for signing up. The best next steps is to go ahead and finish all these training videos and to go ahead and uh, shoot me an email when you're done to let me know you've completed them. Um, it's basically what my video says here. Uh, again, this is one of the other ones that I definitely recommend building yourself because again, you're saying thank you for them joining your team uh, and, and they're, you're gonna be their point of contact moving forward. So we try to make it out of the box, but again, I think ideally uh, this is best served if this video is coming from you, uh, and you and you're able to get some of your own personality into it. The next video is the payment video. This is probably the most important video to make your own um, because there's so much variance in how you guys are wanting to pay deal finders. Um, it's not that one is better than the other necessarily, um, but we just know there's a lot of difference in how people choose to pay their deal finders. So we try to make a video for each general type that we see. So an hourly video, a per property video, and a per closed deal. Um, so those are three default videos that we offer you guys to select from uh, if that's your structure. Again, they're very generic though. They're, I can't, I'm not giving specific percentages or dollar per hour or anything like that because it's just a generic video for everyone to use. And so like I said, this is probably the most important one to customize because you want a video where you really clearly lay out exactly how you're incentivizing and paying your deal finders because the, the more transparency that they, they have through the process, the more likely it is for them to sign up really get excited about doing this for and with you guys as team members um, and getting after it in Deal Machine. And so, uh, I, as you can tell, I actually have my own custom video in here for my deal finders. The way I pay them is 20% uh, of the deal profit if I close on a property that they sent me, 20%, an additional 20% if they happen to actually help me work the deal, whether that's taking pictures or showing a, a buyer of it or something like that. I do this virtually in a couple other markets. Um, so that's why I, I incentivize that way because I need boots on the ground um, and to, to be able to do everything. Um, so that's the payment video. The next video is the distress video. This is one, I don't think it's as important for you guys to record your own version of this. Um, we created the distress level video to basically tell people, hey, when you're looking at a house, here's what it is you're looking for to see if you want to add it into Deal Machine. Uh, if it's a good fit for your criteria or if it's not a good fit. These three levels essentially are indicating how distressed the property should be for us to be able to, to go ahead and add it. And so each one of these videos is basically saying, hey, here's an example of a house. I'm, I'm literally in front of a house and I say, here's an example of a house that you should be adding based off of the criteria. And so it's like a distress level one, for instance, is the highest level of distress that you wanna see as your barometer for adding a property. So I basically say, hey, here's a, a vacant house. It's clear no one lives here. It's basically super run down. No one cares about it. They're not properly taking care of it. So this is the type of property you wanna add in a deal machine every time. And then I flip to a house that was maybe owner occupied, maybe a rental, but maybe not the prettiest house, but it was still clearly being taken care of and someone was living there. And so I tell people in that distress level one, that's not the type of property you wanna add. And so, each video you see here at level two and level three are just slightly different uh, criteria that I give to these deal finders so that they can send you properties that you really are interested in. If you've got a lot of unique stuff that you look for in properties, a couple quick examples. I know a couple of our, um, our enterprise users really focus on split level and two level properties. And so if you've got something really specific like that, where you're like, I want, or, or another good example, if there's like a wheelchair ramp, two things that definitely come up in conversations that I have with people really frequently. If you wanna give really descriptive details like that, go ahead and do a custom link, explain or custom video, uh, add it here, explain what those unique criteria that you have are, and then again, you've got a video that's really custom for you and your deal finders, and then go ahead and bullet point out the specific things in the text box um, so that they can know exactly what they're looking for in those properties. From there, I think the rest of the videos, you guys aren't ever gonna have to re-record if you don't want to. If you just happen to want your own branding throughout, totally understand that, you can do it. The rest of the ones we have left are really just demo videos. It's me driving, it's me taking photos, adding properties, and we've got an overlay 
of the camera, of Deal Machine actually, of the, the screen view of the mobile phone um, in that video as well. So take a look at them, um, but basically we've got our taking photos uh, video here. This is basically saying how to make sure they're adding the right property in a Deal Machine. So I walk through using our satellite view, I walk through using um, I, just how to identify which property is right, how to verify the proper address, all that good stuff. I show them how to add the original photo of the property and I just make it really transparent so they know when they're out there driving, how to use Deal Machine and make sure they get the proper properties into it so you guys are getting the right quality leads that you're looking for. The next video is just going over tags and notes. And so as you may or may not know, all of your deal finders have the ability to add tags as descriptors of the property. Whenever they click into the full, the full deal view, they can see the ability to add those tags. So maybe you want them to add um, physical descriptors like, hey, the, the, the paint is peeling or there's a tarp on the roof. Or maybe you create your own unique tags like you have your own distress level scale, one, two, three, that you guys use. And you could tell them every single property you add, give us a category for how distressed it is. And that might power your marketing and make you have a different process for reaching out uh, to, those different, to those different properties. Um, and the other thing again here is notes. And so your, your deal finders do have the ability to add a note. Like if they talk to an owner and they say, hey, uh, that person said they had to sell really, really quickly. I know them. Here's their phone number. They could write that right into the note for you and then tag you on it. So you're able to to jump on that opportunity right away. And so I go ahead and explain all those things in that video. From there, we talk about driving routes. And so the biggest thing is, with driving routes is making sure you, your, that your deal finders are actually hitting start driving and stop driving when they begin and end their routes. And so what's gonna happen that way is under your driving route section in the application, you're gonna see the full history of what those deal finders are doing, when they did it, how many properties they added, how many miles they drove, um, all that stuff is located under the deal summaries as long as they hit start and stop driving. So it's really a descriptor of making sure that they hit, hit those two things as well as showing them how to turn on their ability to see the live route tracking. So when they're snaking through a neighborhood and we're, we're displaying to them the route that they take as they take it, so it's easy for them to make sure they're not missing any roads or missing any streets in the process. And so that's what that video is all about, again, with the overlay of the screen so they can see exactly how I do it as I do it in the, in the system. Uh, from the, there, the last video that we show them is just how to keep track of the deals that they're sending you in Deal Machine. Um, and so uh, your deal finders can always look at all the deals that they've added into Deal Machine. They can see the current deal status. So if, if you're currently marketing to it, if you recorded notes, if you schedule an appointment, they can see that just for the deals that they have added to you. And so that's just a video allowing us to show those deal finders how they can keep track of what you're doing with the properties they've pinned. Um, so it's just really transparent for everyone what's going on. Um, obviously really relevant for people if you're, if you're paying them on a closed deal, it's easier for them to keep track of that information. And so those are all the videos that we have built today. Definitely recommend watching those videos as you go through this process yourself because it's gonna be really valuable uh, for you to know what it is those deal finders are seeing as they go through this onboarding and sign up process. Um, the last thing to go over on this new feature we've just launched is the email. And so this is the welcome email, as I mentioned earlier, the contact info you put under, landing, under the landing page info page is who they're gonna receive this email from. And it's basically, again, we've got default text here to say, hey, welcome to our deal finder team, and gives them uh, a little bit of a, a task to go, out, go ahead and go ahead and add properties right away uh, and make sure they get the app installed and all that good stuff and also any relevant information that we find for them. This default text is pretty good out of the box. I definitely recommend on this email, if you've got like a Facebook page or like a Slack channel or some sort of no normal medium of communication that you're giving to your deal finders, definitely recommend including those asks in this email to say, hey, go ahead and add this, um, go ahead and add your, your name to the, our Facebook group or to this email list, or just keep an eye out for an invite to our Slack channel, things like that. Um, or even if you have a driver contract that you're asking them to sign, you can include all those things in this email. It's all automated. So then you know you're not, everything process driven is taken care of, everything here with technology. And then you're again doubling down and just focusing on the relationship with these drivers. Because that's by far the biggest thing that we see consistently with 
are successful enterprise users, the people that do it really well, they understand that the deal finders are people too. They have their own goals, their own desires. Maybe they want to be a real estate investor long term. Maybe they just want to figure out how to get an extra few hundred bucks a month. Whatever it is, they focus on that part. They focus on building the relationship and just let us take care of the training element to make sure the deal machine stuff is all taken care of. So the last thing I want to show you guys is what this page and process actually looks like. So once you have everything completed there, this is what it's going to go ahead and look like. Obviously, if you've customized this text at the top, if you've customized this, this uh, video, it's all going to be specific to you. This is just what my page looks like. So the first thing we're going to see is, uh, again, the video, the text that you've customized, and we're going to see the ability to add in our own information here. So I'm just going to use my personal uh, email as an example here so that we can just click through the process really quickly so you can see what's actually going on. So Joshua Johnson, uh, my city is Raleigh, uh, phone number, um, again, just so I know this works, I'm going to do plus a number. And then this is the actual password that they're going to be using when they log in. So um, it's creating their account at this moment. So we'll go ahead and hit get started. And right away, you'll see we're going to take them into the training process. Um, hey, thank you. So boom, the video starts playing right away. That's the welcome video. We have the text right beneath it. And then we've got a little progress bar. So however many um, videos you're going to have in the process, we tell them how much time they, uh, or how many videos they, they still have to go through. So they can watch the video and go ahead and click over to the next one and continue through this process all the way through. And so again, I would recommend after you build your whole process and make your custom content in this, go ahead and run through this once or twice so you get a really good feel for what it feels like, what your deal finders are experience, uh, experiencing, because you might find there might be some tweaks that you just want to personally make based off of how you want those deal finders to, um, to, to have that experience. And so once they hit next on the final video, we'll say, hey, congratulations, you completed your training. Again, here's the contact info for your team owner hit complete training, and now we're automatically gonna pull them into Deal Machine. So they are now officially logged into their account on Deal Machine. They can go log into the app on their phone. They can start tracking their routes, start adding in deals. If they ever wanna go back and rewatch some of the training videos, they just have to click on the gear icon to go to settings, and then click on training videos, and we'll show them all the videos again so that they're able to rewatch anything at any time if they have a question about something uh, that they forgot about. As for what we have to go over today, guys, that's really everything. Um, that's all the info you, that we have about the new, the new uh, deal finder recruitment page that we talked about. It's been a long time coming. You've probably heard us talk about it for a few months. It's super excited that it's out here for you guys. Um, I've already seen a ton of users really making their recruitment and onboarding and training process way more efficient using this. So go ahead and get it, get it set up. If you want to have a call with us about getting this set up on your account and you want some help, just let us know, reach out. We're happy to do that. Um, looking forward to it. Looking forward to your guys' feedback and I will talk to you guys soon.